So you mean to tell me you still out here hating on yourself? You still out here hating on you? Don't you got enough doubters and haters and naysayers that are pushing and pulling on you? Stop absorbing what they're feeling and making it your own. Oh, you and them ones. You don't know how to love yourself. Well, you've come to the right video, the right voice, at the right time. Give you three keys to self-love. Number one, embrace your flaws. You hate on you because you don't like you. You don't like the way you look. You don't like this about you. You don't like that about you. Well, when you hate on you, the rest of the world is gonna do the exact same thing. Embrace your flaws. You are unique. You are an individual. Your difference is what makes you phenomenal. Remember, we're all imperfectly perfect. So I need you to be comfortable in your own skin. So embrace your inner uniqueness. Embrace the difference that makes you you. I need you to start loving that about yourself. Number two, forgive yourself. We all do stupid, dumb stuff. And we have to look back on it once we overcome it and say to ourselves, what in the world was I thinking? I know for me, I look back, some of the boneheaded things I did, I had four babies out of wedlock by the same person that I didn't even like. I look back on it, I'm like, what in the world was I thinking? But I had to stop and take a moment and forgive myself. And you're probably smack dab in the middle of doing something stupid right now. Once you get past it, get through it, because you will. Don't beat yourself down for doing it. You have to forgive yourself. You also have to forgive yourself for things that other people did to you. It's not your fault that that person took advantage of you. It's not your fault that that person did that to you. So stop trying to make it your fault as a reason to keep that person around or as a reason to stay in that situation. Forgive yourself and let it go. Forgive yourself and move on. Forgiving yourself is a major key to self-love. Do not, and I repeat, do not let a few ugly moments define who you are. And number three, stop neglecting yourself. You gotta make some time for you. You keep putting everybody ahead of you. You must be okay saying no sometimes. It ain't easy, I struggle with it. But it's imperative for you to love yourself and stop neglecting yourself. You have to say no sometimes. At least one time each and every day. Have some you time. Take a moment and do something that you love to do. Exactly what you want to do. It ain't got to be nothing. It can be just watching a TV show. It can be taking a moment to meditate. It can be taking a moment to read. Whatever it is that doesn't have anything to do with anyone else, do it for yourself. Set some time aside for you. Listen to me. Doing for you and not neglecting you is not being selfish. It's an act of survival. So embrace your flaws. Forgive yourself. And please stop neglecting yourself. Love you some you. Self-love is the best love. And once you apply those three things, you will find yourself climbing over the hump and making each and every day of your life Great day for you to love you so you. Great day to win too. Let's go.